Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Multimatic 235 by Miller. Um, in this video, we're going to go over overview of the Multimatic, and then we're going to cover the aluminum side of the uh, Multimatic 235, what options you have for running aluminum wire. Um, so let's dive right in, do, talk about functionality on this unit. So the Multimatic 235 is a 220 only machine. Um, it is a it fits between the 215 and the 255 so the price point on this unit is a lot lower than the 255 but a little bit more than the 215 but you get a 60 percent duty cycle on this unit in mig tig and stick so the, the duty cycle is very good for the size of the unit it's portable um, 63 pounds is not bad at all to uh, lug around and move it does there is cart packages for this unit as well uh, but pretty nice little unit. So let's dive into the functionality. We got obviously we got flux cord gasless, right? We got MIG stainless, MIG steel, and that's a 90-10 mix, so we can spray transfer with this unit. MIG steel C25, so that's a 75-25 mix. Um, we got MIG steel 100% CO2, and then we have MIG aluminum. Right? We don't have our gun plugged in, but we have a spoolmate 200, and I'll show you that here in a minute. TIG lift arc only and you can put a wireless foot pedal on this unit um, and that's what the remote's for so you can put a wire now that doesn't come with a TIG package but you can add that on we'll link that all down below TIG lift arc this is without a remote so you just got you said at 90 you got straight 90 amps coming and then we got our stick welding so we'll toggle back up here to MIG and I'll show you the ins inside of this unit so we'll flip this door open here. We can fit the big spool, so right, 33 pound, 44 pound spool of wire. Uh, the 215, you cannot 11 pound only. So this one steps up into a bigger spool, uh, a little bit more industrial. Uh, we get our chart here, typical with all Miller equipment, right? We get our parameter chart. What are we welding, what size wire, and what material thickness. So this will weld up to 3 8 material on MIG. Um, and it's, it's, it's not limited in as far as three eighths, so it's a 220 machine, 60% new cycle. What's up the three? I mean, awesome output on this unit. We got our drive roll system, uh, dual drive rolls on the unit, so they just lock in, come out, go back in. Pretty nice standard on Miller equipment. Got our spindle here for our spool, power lug. But we'll, we'll pop the MIG gun in, and I'll show you here. So if we, if we leave, um, we power this thing up, put our main gun in. Remember, we gotta feed our power cord in for the main gun. And then we'll tighten that down. So let's just leave it at, leave it at TIG here. And I'll show you. that tightened in we'll go back up so we got our mid gun in it shows us our picture here got that we got our positive our ground hooked up now this unit has auto set and you can turn that on and off pretty nice so auto set gives you the feature of what I, I can I can change but that's my target parameter right 035 wire eighth inch material to change that I can go up to 3 8 material and then obviously I can back my wire down to 024 to 035. Um, pretty awesome, I like the auto set because it just gives you a target range and then you can adjust outside of that range if you want a little more inches per minute, a little more wire feed or a little more voltage. Uh, very nice, but let's, let's dive into the spool gun here. So I got the Spoolmate 200 out. A lot of questions we get are, what are the aluminum options I can put on this 235? Um, so you can run the Spoolmate 100, 150, 200, and then you can run the 30A, which is the industrial spool gun on this unit because you have a 14 pin. So open this 200 up here. Now what's nice about running all these different spool gun options is, you know, the, a lot of people have spool guns or they have littler equipment and they already have a spool gun for it. This will run all of them. Um, the only thing it won't run is a push-pull gun. So if you're gonna if you're gonna either pulse make or run a push-pull gun, you have to go up to the 255. 
235 does not pulse MIG, it only pulse TIGs. So. All right, so we got the Spoolmate 200 hooked up here. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you is that, so this gun has a different trigger wire than this one. So this is a 14 pin connection on the inside. You see there. So the spool gun has a 14 pin connection. The gun has a, what is a two pin or four pin connection. But this spool gun, you have to unhook that or just undo that nut and then hook to the power lead and then feed everything through the front. And then the gas hose hooks to the front of the machine. And on this unit, we have we have two different gas solenoids on the back. So you got a TIG and a MIG. So that, that hooks to the front there and then I'll come around front and I'll show you here. So pretty nice so you can leave them hooked up at the same time. So right now, see I'm on MIG steel. Tap the trigger, now it goes to MIG aluminum. And then we got auto set or we don't have auto set, one of the two, but you can run I'll show you here real quick. 4000 series, 035, and 047, which is 364. And then it'll run 5000 series, 035, and 364 wire. And then you can go up to, from eighth to quarter inch material on your spool gun. And then you can set your spool gun down. If you've got to go back to MIG, tap it. And so it knows that it differentiates between the two guns. Pretty awesome. So you can leave everything hooked up. You can have both argon cylinder and 7525 on the back of your cylinder cart and everything will be all ready to rock, hooked up. Um, pretty nice little unit. Now, like I said before, you can run the Smoy 100, 150, 200, and the 30A on this. All in all, I mean, this, this machine, I would say, is, is geared towards farms, small fab shops. Um, you know, home hobby guys that run some heavier plate or doing fix it jobs that are bigger. Uh, you need to, you know, this is portable so you can run this on a generator. Uh, you need 10,000 watt generator to run it though. Uh, so anything, your Trailblazer 325 would run this unit, no problem, plug it in, good to go. You can run the spool gun, big gun, take well off of it. Um, but it's a nice unit for that, that market. And I would say farm, home hobby that has 220 power only and they want to be able to do all these multifaceted things with the output of an industrial machine now like i said before the 255 is the next step up but the price range is is drastic i mean we're talking over a thousand dollars more to go to the 255 so if you want to just stay in the 235 range and it's really priced right um, and it has more output than the 215. So if you got any questions, comments, please leave them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.